Yeah, it's very hard to see what I'm explaining now. There are just a couple of tiny little grayish white tufts of what used to be a pretty healthy black beard algae. This saga started about three weeks ago. I got a little over enthusiastic about um, doing water changes and cleaning my filters and suddenly I had a tremendous bacteria bloom and I resisted the urge to try to rectify the bloom and then I dove into the rabbit hole of YouTube and realized that everybody says just leave it alone it'll take care of itself so after about seven to ten days it went from like a really foggy morning in Seattle to some of the clearest water that I've ever had and I was really happy about it I was showing my son how clear the water was and he said hey dad you got blackbeard algae I said oh that's good because I got some green algae too he said, no, that's not good, Dad. That blackbeard algae will take over your entire tank. So I realized, I guess I better do something. And I jumped down the old rabbit hole again. And it seemed to me that most folks were saying to use um, peroxide or the sea uh, chem. And I decided, based on what I kind of learned that the Seachem, the Flourish Excel, was a safer alternative than the peroxide. So I started treating individually. I had about a dozen and a half uh, of those little spikes. They were about the size, see if I can get this on here, about the size of the tip of this paintbrush. I had about 14 of those maybe a dozen and a half, something like that. So I started treating the uh, ones individually. I used the manufacturer's recommended dose, uh, both for the initial treatment and then uh, for follow-up treatments. Actually, for the initial treatment, this is a 36-gallon tank, but with the rocks and the substrate, uh, probably about 30 gallons and I did treat initially for 36 gallons, but thereafter I treated for 30 gallons. I used three mils in this tank. About uh, a day or so later, these black tufts turned pink, and I realized that uh, something was going on in there. And I continued to treat after about, I'm, I'm into this about oh, seven or eight days now, and this is all that I've got left of that black beard algae. So it's gone from like a dozen and a half down to just, just barely can see a couple of these things right now. So I just wanted to put my two cents in because there's a lot of, a whole really a lot of discussion about blackbeard algae, but I just wanted to put my two cents in and say what has happened in my tank. My aquarium, the pH is on the low side, maybe 6.2, 6.4. I keep the tank at 81 and a half degrees because I've got cardinals and I have this very not camera shy. <laughs> Very not camera shy ram. I nicknamed him Gorgeous George. Some of you old timers may remember uh, back in the days of Hulk Hogan, there was another wrestler and his name was Gorgeous George. And I just felt this guy really, he, he's got to be called Gorgeous George if he's called anything. So at any rate, uh, the tank 6264 on the warm side, very soft water. Uh, this is the what comes out of the tap in Seattle, and I understand most of Washington State is soft uh, water also. 
So uh, that is my experience with this stuff. Uh, it's barely visible. I'm continuing to spot treat uh, what I can find, what's left of this stuff. I'm spot treating it and it appears to be going really very much in the right direction. So thanks for hanging in there. I hope you found something worthwhile in this video. Take care. Poppy out.